What's going on everybody? Jordan here. I'm back for another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a big box of goodies from Bearded Rosé, now known as Uncle Rosé on uh, Instagram. Check them out down below. He uh, reached out a few weeks ago and asked if I wanted some stuff and all I had to do was pay shipping. So I did that and uh, filled up this big giant box, 14 pounds. Let's uh, see what's in it. All right. Yeah. So like I said, big giant box. So I'll probably open this up, unload everything, and then we'll uh, talk about all the scents and all the products that he sent. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got a box within a box. Let's go through uh, through the hats that Rose sent first. I think the count was 18, um, is what he told me. So we got super dope black and gold whiskey and hardtack hat with the uh, mesh back. There you go, that's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. That's one, snap back style. Whiskey and Hard Tack obviously is no longer in business. So that's a collectible right there. And then the next one. Oh, this is uh, one of Rose's homies uh, clothing line. Yeah, see if I can find his uh, Instagram and link that down below. But mesh back as well with the, uh, with the camo. Super, super dope. Yeah, very, very cool. <laughs> Probably do some photos in all these, uh, all these hats. Just because why not? The next. Ah, the camo beard brothers with the mesh with the mesh back. That's kind of what got this uh, conversation started. I uh, was talking to Rose and I mentioned that I want to uh, want to buy some beard brothers hats um, at some point. And then he was like, "Speaking of hats, and now I have all these hats as well as some more stuff." <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Camo fits me pretty well. Super, super dope. Got the Beard Brothers patch on the front. The Truth 15 saves 15%. This one says, uh, guns don't kill people, dads with pretty daughters do. <laughs> That's awesome. Keep that for uh, someday. Five kids, it's hilarious. Oh, got the Blue Miami Beard Co. This is fresh. No mesh back on this one. Uh, there was not the last one as well, which was some super dope. I haven't tried Miami Beard Co. yet, but it's a fresh hat. Oh yeah, very, very cool. <laughs> Gotta hang all these somehow back here. <laughs> So many hats. And two crafts, which is another one of uh, Rose's homies, I believe. Mesh back. Boom. Super dope. <laughs> I already had a lot of hats before this, but this uh, they pushed it even further. Oh, cool. This is uh, Oak Cliff Beard Kingdom, which is now Aztec Beard Co. And check out my unboxing for them, link down below for uh, Aztec. So this is another another collectible from a company that doesn't exist anymore. Well, technically they do, but rebranded as Aztec, but Oak Cliff no longer exists. So another collectible that you can't buy anymore, which is pretty dope. And then, ah, another Beard Brothers. Got the green and white with the mesh back. Hell yeah, that's dope. <laughs> super, super cool. And then next, got the pink Florida Boys Grooming. I don't usually wear pink, pink, but this might be uh, might be an exception because it's pretty cool. Dope. <laughs> pretty cool. I don't know. The color is something I wear every day, but definitely look cool on the wall. Super dope logo. But halfway through the hats, almost. This is uh, bearded three six five. So three sixty five is a I think I think a company. I forget like a merch line kind of thing that on number two the camo super super dope and the groom for all these all these hats next we got the bearded existence that's super dope got the camo with the black with the green underside super fresh yeah that's good hell yeah super super dope three camo hats so far <laughs> We got the other, another uh, Beard Brothers, got the gray, with the mesh back, with the uh, kind of fabric, kind of meshy design. I'd probably, probably go number three, number three with that, but that's, that's good, a little loose. Yeah, super dope, very, very cool. And then we got Darker Camo, Beard Brothers. Boom, there we go, <laughs> nice. Funny, I love that this conversation started with like me talking about like wanting to buy uh, some Beer Brothers hats, and now I have a whole bunch. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's another one with the blue and gray five panel, I believe this is called. Super, super dope, nice and lightweight. And we got the uh, Desert Camo Beer Brothers. Hell yeah, epic. <laughs> That's awesome. 
very, very cool. I'm gonna slide this to the side just a little bit so I can get some more hats. So we are running out of room rapidly. Then we got Stroke Beard Company. Super, super cool. Another one that I haven't tried. I don't know if they still exist. We'll look into that. So this might be another, another collectible. It's pretty cool. Another camo, the gold, gold lettering. Brown with the, uh, the green mesh. Kind of desert camo sort of, uh, sort of look. Super, super dope. Awesome. I think a lot, like a bunch of these Beard Brothers hats you can't get. I know there's a few of them you can, that you can. Um, Bearded Existence, another one. Like a, not, not a dad hat, but like a, just, I forget what they're called. But super dope nonetheless. A little bit of a higher fit, but I dig it. Very, very, very cool. So yeah, that's the uh, hats that Rosé sent. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hats. And then next we had a bunch of beard products. So we got three from Nicholas Beard Works, which I've never tried, so I'm definitely excited about that. I'm gonna take everything out of here and then we'll, uh, we'll get into these. Wicked bottle. So we got Moroccan wood, Arabian musk, very, very cool. Then we've got blue musk, which I think I've heard good things about. Um, Wicked bottles. And then got a bag in here. <laughs> this is awesome. These bags will be good for uh, when I move out, hopefully at some point next year, um, for uh, transporting all my beard oils. Then we got Chronic Beard Co. <laughs> nice. This is uh, the message. Then we got uh, Fresh Beards. This is Voodoo. Really cool looking bottle. And then we have Oak Cliff, Don Juan. This one sounds incredible. Heard lots of good things about this one. And then we have, ah, Sphinx. This is a uh, authentic oud. And last but not least for this bag, we got Chronic Beard Co. Santa's Pipe, which is black cherry tobacco. And another, another pouch. Ah, another one from uh, Chronic. This is Shatterfly, which is a cologne scent. Heard lots of good things about this one. Definitely excited for that. And then we got, hey, I know that logo. We got another bottle of Rosé, which is Rosé's collab with uh, Beard Brothers. Super dope. I have that one already, but like halfway through the bottle, I think. So shout out to Rosé for sending another one. And we got Crushers. This is uh, a Cut Above, which is a barbershop scent. Heard good things about this one as well. I reviewed Karshers earlier earlier this year. Um, check that out down below. And got another bag. Alrighty. Then we got uh, Satisfied Senior. This is uh, sagebeard.com. Handcrafted by Ferocious Beard Company. This is a uh, double yoy, which is coffee, pink, gra pink grapefruit, Cuban tobacco, orange, and sandalwood bourbon. That sounds awesome. Shout out to uh, Satisfied Senior. Good dude. And then this is uh, Oak City Beard Company. This is a barbershop, which is citrus, mahogany, and lavender. Pump top bottle. Looks like, yeah, it's a two ounce, so that's pretty cool. Bag to the side. I'm trying to miss any uh, oils. Oh, refined apothecary, Brooklyn. That's a sick, sick bottle. Two ounce, big old bottle. And then we have Outlaw Beard Co. Lumberjack. Haven't tried out loud, but I was on a on a live stream with with the owner last year. That's pretty cool. And then we got smoked peach, which is the new, the new scent from uh, Beard Brothers. Which appears to have opened slightly, but that's okay. Oh yeah, it did. I feel the label bottle a bit loose, but it's all good. It's not cracked, so that's fine. Still very very full. This is the uh, standard blend, which is. Hobo oil, sweet almond oil, apricot oil, castor oil, and vitamin E. Yeah, another bag. <laughs> That's another one from uh, Refined Apothecary. This is Harlem, another two ounce black bottle. Zeus from Beard Brothers in the uh, Emu blend. Haven't tried this one yet, but I've heard good things about it. And we've got Zeus in the butter as well. Hell yeah, it's awesome. So Zeus combo, super dope. 
And then also in here we've got Chimo Peak with the Don Juan Beard Butter from uh, Oak Cliff Beard Co. Don Juan, so I got the matching combo for that. So I'll definitely be trying that out sooner than later. Then we got Detroit Woodward. This is a four ounce vanilla and mahogany teakwood. Heard good things about this, uh, this scent. And then we've got Detroit 313. Toasted vanilla and amber. This is a pretty pretty popular scent. Also in a four ounce. And then we got Defined Psycho Billy Quiff. Four ounce butter. Big ass container. <laughs> and then we got Broke Ass Beard Co. Which is uh, smoke. This one is Summer Peach Rolled Tobacco. I guess we'll find out because it looks like the because uh, the scent number was is faded. Uh, we will uh, we'll find out. <laughs> and then next we got another one from Broke Ass, which also it's, it's uh, faded out. That's a two ounce glass jar. And then we got Outlaw Beard Co. This is the lumberjack, so matching uh, matching oil and butter, which is pretty dope. Yeah, there we go. That's another another combo. Another one. And then we got a cut above. So this is. Uh, Plastic two ounce container. This is from, uh, ah, there you go. Um, Crusher's Creations, it's another combo. And we got another butter from Broke Ass. Another two ounce glass jar. And we've got Fresh Beards uh, Voodoo Beard Butter. So to match with, uh, there we go. Voodoo, yeah, cool. So that's another combo. And then we got, and we've got this uh, from Mountain Air Brand, Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse. Gently cleaning rinse restores the natural pH of your beard, face, hair, and scalp. Cider vinegar is natural antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties. Skin applied liberally to a clean cotton ball or clean cloth, which has run into your skin. For hair and beard, hold the spray nozzle close enough to saturate the area to be treated. That's cool. I'll definitely be uh, trying this out. Never tried anything like this before. And then, oh, it looks like you may have missed. Oh, because the uh, this is probably where, uh, yeah, where uh, smoked peach was. That just made its way out and then we've got this is uh bergamot and lavender uh beard poo they call it beard cleanser from uh, detroit grooming eight ounce bottle and then we've got a premium beard conditioner with biotin I'm not sure what the scent is but we will I'll test this out and we'll find out yeah there we go so that's the box let's uh check out these products all right so now that we got everything unboxed check this out We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 oils, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 butters, as well as a washing and conditioner, and this uh, apple cider vinegar rinse. Uh, sounds like it's an oat, like a leave-in conditioner kind of thing. Test that out for sure. Yeah, let's uh, hop into this. Hop into this. I think we'll go uh, start with Nicholas Beardworks since we uh, opened that first. This one is Arabian Musk. It's exotic for sure. Let's see what this uh what this is like in beard because it's pretty pretty subtle in the bottle, but we will uh check that out in beard. I'm pretty sure it'll be uh It'll expand more, and then we've got Moroccan wood. Yeah, a little cleaner, but similar vibe to uh, Arabian Musk. Very, very cool. Kind of like an exotic cologne kind of thing. I feel like you'd like smell that like somewhere in the Middle East, I would think. And then we got Blue Musk. Similar to Moroccan wood, but a little more, a little more clean. Very, very cool. And that is a one ounce as well, I believe. Uh, established 1994. Oh, that's cool. Natural and organic, made in the USA. Yeah, so that's Nicholas Beardworks. We got some from Chronic Beard Co., which no longer exists. This one is The Message, which is a masculine cologne. Oh, yeah, that's nice. The 
between masculine and clone. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. And then Shatterfly, which I've heard lots of good things about. Yeah, another clone type scent, but kind of a little bit more earthy, I would say. That's awesome. Very, very cool. And then last but not least, from Chronic, we have Santa's Pipe, which is Black Cherry Tobacco. How do you know I'm gonna like this one? <laughs> oh yeah. Cherry, definitely get the tobacco. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's grab this one from uh, Ferocious Beard Co. and Satisfied Senior Sage Beard. This one is, like I said, coffee, pink grapefruit, Cuban tobacco, orange, and sandalwood bourbon. One ounce with the dropper top. Definitely get the coffee, then I get the orange for sure uh, up front. Kind of interesting. I know Satisfied Senior works with uh, Ferocious on a lot of very unique scents. That's definitely definitely one of them. And then next, let's check out Smoked Peach, which is brand new from uh, Beard Brothers as of recently. Check that out. Definitely get the peach. You can tell the smoky's under, that they're underneath, uh, just underneath the surface. And then I already know what rosé smells like, but we'll uh, check this one again, just because why not, while we're here. Oh, so good. Another uh, tobacco cigar sort of scent. Super, super good. And then next we've got Oak City Beard Co, which is, this one's a barbershop, so citrus, mahogany, and lavender. Get the lid off, make it easier. Oh, like a warm barbershop, like, a, like an aftershave at a, at a barbershop. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very, very cool. And then next we got Brooklyn from Refined Pot Apothecary. This one has grapeseed, jojoba, sandalwood, and essential oils. Whoa, that's invigorating. <laughs> Eucalyptus for sure. Something else warming it up behind. Can't think exactly, but nice clear oil. That's invigorating, all right. <laughs> definitely not a nighttime scent, but definitely uh, intriguing for sure. And then we got Harlan from Refined uh, Apothecary as well. Also invigorating, but a little more, a little more tobacco kind of ish. Oh yeah, yeah, that's nice. And then next we've got Lumberjack from Outlaw Beard Co. So one ounce restrictor. Yeah, woodsy. Actually, it's, I have the, uh, I think the butter here. Oh, reminds me of Christmas. Like, not like an obvious Christmas scent, but like a woodsy. Oh yeah. I have to save that for once it, uh, once it gets colder. So that's definitely I mean, going to be an epic winter scent. And then next we've got Voodoo from, uh, Fresh Beards, which is another company that I haven't tried. This is a four ounce butter. Oh, look how creamy that looks. Very, very nice. Ooh. This one, let's see the profile. It does not. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Barbershop from uh, this one here from Oak City Beard Coat. Very, very cool. And then next we've got one from Sphinx. This is uh, Authentic Oud. One ounce restrictor top. Ooh, that's exotic too. Fresh. Clean. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice and beard. And this one, the ingredients are uh, medium chain triglycerides, organic castor oil, organic moringa oil, marula oil, frankincense essential oil, organic hemp oil, ginger essential oil, coriander essential oil. Yeah, there we go. Established 4000 BC when beard was history. <laughs> Made in the USA. 
very very cool and then we got don juan from uh oko Birko, which like i said is now now aztec which i did do an unboxing oh yeah yeah nice cigar tobacco type scent oh i'm gonna like that one <laughs> this is also a four ounce i believe yeah this is grapefruit leather caramelized nuts and sweet tobacco yep four ounce very very nice and then we got zeus from beer brothers another new one this is the oils and the emu blend oh yeah that's peppermint <laughs> be great in the winter maybe maybe combined with uh something woodsy maybe uh oh yeah i know or maybe even uh santa's pipe from uh, chronic black cherry tobacco that could be a good good combo with this Oof. i don't usually like i'm not crazy about peppermint when it's super strong but that's not bad at all and then the last combo that we have is a cut above this is a barbershop scent from crushers creations Meta foam seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, castor oil, sweet almond oil, organic hemp seed oil, babasu oil, essential and fragrance oil blend. Oh yeah, that's clean. That's a barbershop, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that one. <laughs> and we got a few that I have in just butter. So Woodward from Detroit Grooming. Vanilla and mahogany teakwood. Heard lots of good things about this one. This is a four ounce. Ooh. Vanilla and mahogany teakwood. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. I dig it. <laughs> very, very nice. And then we got 313 from Detroit. Toasted vanilla and amber. one that I love immediately but interesting nonetheless definitely gonna try it we got one from Brocast so they have a few of the scent okay so summer peach and rolled tobacco it looks like this one might be yeah that makes sense yep yep summer peach and rolled tobacco it's a little blue mark and Based on smelling it, that makes sense. Glass jar as well. And we got another one from Broke Ass. Let's see what this one is. Oh, look at that butter. Cuban cigar and 25 year whiskey, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's Cuban cigar and whiskey. Yep, <laughs> I love I love cigar scents. So I can definitely identify them pretty quickly. And we got one more from Brocas, which is uh, number twenty-two. That's probably. Let's see what this one is. Teak woods and vintage leather, maybe. That might be Cuban cigar, and then the other one is an antique was in vintage leather. Yeah, that makes sense. So, reverse my last one. And then, last but not least, Psycho Billy Cliff from Define Grid Co. This is a barbershop. The ingredients are shea butter, mango butter, sweet almond oil, fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, essential oils, and fragrance, fragrance oils. This is a unique take on a barbershop scent, blended with bergamot, basil leaf, oak moss, and white patchouli. Oh yeah, I definitely get the white patchouli. Yep. Ooh, very nice though. Reminds me of uh, Motown from uh, Band Box Fella, which I reviewed last year. Uh, I think like in the summer, or, like April or May, one of those two. I'll have that link down below uh, if you want to check that out. Yeah, let's uh, wrap up this video. All right, so massive shout out to uh to rose uh uncle rose on instagram 
check him out down below, give him a follow. He's uh, done, like talked about beard products in the past and uh, now he's kind of doing, doing other stuff. So colognes and all kinds of other stuff. So definitely follow him if you haven't already. I have his uh, link, Instagram link down below and uh, big shout out to him for uh, hooking me up with all this stuff. 18 hats, bunch of beard oil, bunch of butters, wash conditioner and like a leave-in conditioner sort of thing apple cider vinegar rinse um, yeah we got a bunch of different companies we got nicholas beard works chronic beard co beard brothers sphinx uh oak city beard co refined apothecary satisfied senior sage beard and uh ferocious we got detroit grooming then we got outlaw beard co we got fresh beards crushers creations defined beard co broadcast beard co and uh oak Cliff beard co yeah shout out to rose for hooking it up give them a follow leave a like on this video comment down below if you've tried any of this stuff or any products from any of these companies uh let me know what you've tried what you haven't yeah thanks for watching subscribe if you, if you haven't already leave a like on this video comment down below i'll be back for more soon peace